Hello, good afternoon everyone. I am Dr. Brinda, consultant intern surgeon from Bangalore Baptist Hospital. Today I will be giving you excerpts about the black fungus, the much talked about topic in the last two weeks in this COVID era. So what is fungus? Like any organism like virus or bacteria, fungus is also ubiquitous, present everywhere in the soil, air, water. It can also be present as an armless organism in the human body. When a patient is suspected to have a fung the black fungus infection, the doctor first uh, takes a biopsy or a sample from the patient's nose and sends it for fungal smear and uh, he also does scan, MRI scan of the nose and the eyes and also the brain to see the spread of the disease. He needs to know the extent of the disease which has to be eradicated by surgery. And with this minimum investigation it can be diagnosed. As I said, it has to be treated effectively, uh, a prolonged stay in the hospital, which is all expected. So when does it become dangerous and deadly? So when it gains entry into the blood vessels of the human being. And this occurs especially in uh, diabetics and immune suppressed individuals. Like those people who have undergone transplant, organ transplants, those who are cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy and such patients. This black fungus in medical terms we call it as mucormycosis. It is a mold and uh, why is it called black fungus? Because it causes necrosis that is it, it invades the blood vessels and therefore the blood supply is cut off to wherever it is present and so that area becomes black or uh, ischemic we say necrotic dead. That's why it's called as black fungus. First of all, people who are diabetic who don't have uh, good sugar controls and uh, plus this COVID illness depresses their immunity further and this is a good medium for the fungus to grow. And why is it deadly? Where all does it spread? It usually starts in the nose and then it gains entry into the eyes and then it spreads to the brain. So we need to arrest this disease as early as possible, otherwise it is a deadly disease. Even with the best treatment, the prognosis is just 50%. That is, even with treated individuals, only 50% survive and come out of this disease. The other 50 succumb to this disease with treatment. And without treatment, definitely the mortality is much higher, about 80%. So let me come to the symptoms of this disease, when you should be aware of this. Uh, usually it presents with one-sided symptoms like one-sided facial swelling, uh, numbness, um, stuffiness of the nose on one side, watery discharge, headache on one side, some eye pain, eye uh, prominence. Uh, these are the common symptoms. Sometimes they can be blackish discoloration of the skin below the eye or around the nose. This is very cardinal of mucormycosis. So, with these symptoms, patients should definitely reach the hospital and consult a doctor as early as possible to prevent complications like blindness and uh, uh, infection in the brain and ultimately death. So, who do we consult? Who, which doctor do you have to consult? You have to visit an ENT surgeon and a physician. Usually, it is seen by the ENT surgeon at the first place and in conjunction with the physician, it is treated successfully with Surgery as the pri uh, primary treatment followed by medical therapy and the medical therapy is injections which are given uh, over, uh, over uh, uh, 3 to 6 weeks. It is a prolonged treatment and it is in the form of injections. It is called as amphotericin. The medicine's name is amphotericin. It is given intravenously so the patient has to be admitted and uh, many parameters have to be monitored so it is an in-hospital treatment and under the guidance of physicians and ENT surgeons. So what role has the ENT surgeon to play? The surgeon removes the black necrotic material in the nose or the eye uh, effectively uh, and then subject the patient to medical treatment. The medical treatment also has to be given uh, incessantly, uh, not like uh, intermittently or something. It has to be given continuously, otherwise it is not going to be a successful treatment at all. So coming to the treatment, it is called as amphotericin. So this has to be given over 3 weeks or sometimes longer depending on the patient's body weight. So why are we seeing a surge of cases now? Because 
you know, during COVID, many patients would have received uh, steroids. So this steroid is a very good drug to prevent inflammation and complications in COVID. But it has to be given judiciously and monitored by the doctors. It cannot be give, uh, taken uh, over the, as, as a, over, over the counter drug at all. It is not good at all. It has to be monitored and given in the uh, presence of a physician, in the presence of a uh, doctor's prescription only. So then it becomes helpful. So injudicious use of steroids and plus the poor control of diabetes can uh, definitely can be a victim of this deadly fungal disease. Thank you.